Hi, Mr. T here. I'm going to go over how to draw Lewis structures for more complex molecules. Um, these are molecules that are, uh, have atoms in the center from period three uh, and further down in the periodic table. What happens with these molecules is they're able to have more than eight electrons around them. And so we can uh, get more interesting shapes or, or bigger shapes because of that. So uh, let's just have a look at a couple of these and, and see what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first molecule we're going to look at here is bromine pentachloride. So th the first thing we do is we count the total number of electrons in this molecule. And we do that by going along the periodic table um, so that each column has a number on it from 1 to 18. And we use the number to give us a clue as to how many electrons are in that group or in that column. So if we go across to uh, bromine and chlorine, they're both in group 17, so they have seven electrons in their valence shell. So when we count up the total number of electrons, we have seven from bromine, and then we have five chlorines with seven each. That's 42 electrons. We arrange the atoms. Uh, we put the chlorine, oh, sorry, the bromine atom in the center, and then around the outside, we put the three chlorine atoms. Now, usually it's the atom we have drawn first that's going to go into the center, or apart from that, it's going to be the bigger atom. Now, since we've put all of these atoms around, uh, we are going to now place eight electrons around each outside atom. So we, this is the same as we already know about drawing Lewis structures for simpler molecules. These are all the same rules up till now, apart from we're allowed more than four things around the center atom. So put these eight electrons around the outside. I've used five times eight, that's 40 electrons. I've got two left and the extra two electrons are going to be placed in the middle. Now these, by putting two in the middle, I now have 12 electrons around the bromine. That's fine. These atoms in the middle now can hold up to 12 electrons. So often we'll either have 8, 10, or 12 in the middle. So in this case, we have 12. Uh, let's just check. So I'll check in the middle. Yes, there are 12. We're happy with that. I've redrawn this molecule down the bottom. So I can. I don't have to draw the uh, bonding electrons between the bromines and the chlorines as uh, a pair. I can just replace that and draw the line to show that they're actually a bond, whereas a line represents a bonding pair of electrons. And this is the Lewis structure for a bigger molecule. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. So this is um, TEF4. Um, count the total number of electrons. So TE is in group 6. So we have 6 electrons from that, and the fluorine is in group 17. Sorry, this is group 16. 17, so it has 7. 4 times 7 plus 6 is 34. A range of atoms, TE in the middle, fluorines around the outside, and then 8 electrons around each fluorine we go and if I that's uh, 8 16 24 32 32 electrons got two left we put them around uh, next to the telenium and I could now check to see the telenium does have its full allotment here it has 10 this time instead of last time we had 12 but all it needs to do is have eight or more so it can have eight or 10 or 12 so we're happy with this lower structure we can go about now we can go on now and, and identify its shape and its polarity because we've done this but we're not doing this right now in this video I can redraw this again and, and put the bonds wherever there is a pair of electrons being shared between two atoms between the center atom and the outside atom. So this is our overall Lewis structure at the bottom. Okay, so the last example is we can draw Lewis structures for ions. When we have an ion, we either have a negative or positive charge. Now if we have a negative charge, it means we have an excess of electrons. So we add electrons equal to the charge. If we had a positive charge, we have less electrons. So we'd remove electrons equal to the positive charge. In this case, it's one negative. So we're gonna add one electrons. So we're gonna count one chlorine and four fluorines. Here we go, that's 34, uh, plus one electron, gives us a total of 34. So arrange the atoms, chlorine's gonna go in the middle, bigger atom, but it's also the first drawn, and put the fluorines all around the outside. Notice I always leave a space at the bottom because I might have extra electrons, I might not. I know, I kind of know if I'm gonna have extra electrons because if I've got atoms around the outside that need eight electrons, if my number is a multiple of eight, then I won't need any extra electrons around the middle. In this case, 
it's 34, which is two more than eight. So I know I'm going to have two more extra electrons. So I give eight electrons to each of the outside and I have used a 32. I have two left and I put them in next to the center atom, like I thought I would. Check that I have eight in the middle. I do. I'm happy. And now I'm going to redraw this. So I'm going to draw uh, bonds where there are two electrons shared between chlorine and the outside atom. I'm also going to put a square bracket around it and then put the charge to represent that this is actually representing the iron that is ClF4 minus. So I need to show that I've added one extra minus and I do that by putting a square bracket with a minus outside. Hopefully this has helped. Use, if you're not quite up to uh, drawing your Lewis structures perfectly every time, maybe go back and look at the previous video I've done on level two for drawing Lewis structures. Um, practice doing these more complex ones as well, as well until you're confident at them. Um, look out for the next video on the shapes and polarity. Good luck.